Yes, Thomas. I require you to grip and rip. Thank you. Okay. And welcome back to Three's a Crowd, the YouTube Let's Play that's also kind of a podcast. I'm Nathaniel Kiefer. I'm Richard Jellison. I'm Thomas Hyde. Thomas on controls now, and our game continues. The score is currently, we're playing Trivia in a Trunk, fantasy, science fiction, and horror movie trivia. The score currently, Richard with 29 points. I'm leading, I think. Thomas with 33 points. Oh, never mind. I would actually... Posit that we fully reset the scores yes. and start over now that I'm playing and All Richard right. can focus. All right, very well. Then we will call the first game. Then Thomas's win, and we will reset the scores. I guess first. Oh, nice! Oh, I was gonna say it's flash a cool flash cake. Dude, flash yeah. cakes are so easy to do. How could you not figure that out? Because I didn't. 1975 know how to do them. fantasy is our first question. What terrifying the, creature the guarded the cave of Karen Benog? In Monty Python and the whole uh, that is rabbit. the rabbit. Yeah. He's been a long time going, that is the... Here's a bonus question, Thomas. What was the only weapon that could defeat the surprise... <laughs> the holy hand grenade. Of three points? It's not, it's not required. The, the holy hand grenade? Um, Antioch the, was in brackets. So. One of Brother Maynard's holy weapons. Uh, Nathaniel, the way to reverse the water is back in the first room. Right? Yeah, but you don't want to do that yet. You want to go back to the room that Richard was in... Where the uh, second mini boss is first. I think this. I is d it. I don't know what room that is. I think it's it might be this one. This you one. You go through the door. Because oh, you need the ice arrows. Oh, to make a platform right there. You can't climb on that one. Great. Yeah. Well, this room, this room, this well, you can yeah, this room yes, absolutely, but also the room that you were in before where you got the map. Yes. That room as well. Uh, so hook shot over to the yeah, chest. I, I got it now. And then the I ice. Did it. Oh yeah, we got the ice arrows. We got the ice arrows last uh, nice episode, arrows. of course. Actually useful in this game. That's right, as opposed to being a really lame bonus weapon in the Ocarina of Time. Completely useless. Boom, platforms. Really? You might need, to be, you might need a second one. Yeah. Were they useless? Yeah, they, there was well, no use. There was no use. They, froze, they were, they were they slightly more enemies, powerful than regular arrows, but they had no, like, puzzle or, like, yeah. actual gameplay use. Oh. Yeah. It's probably good. So they just froze enemies, then? Yes. Yeah, so they had more was, combat ability. There was, yeah, but there was only certain, certain enemies that it would work against. Oh, and so. also, by the time you got them, it was irrelevant. Honestly. Yeah, by that point, you had the light arrows. What's the difference? Mm, no, you didn't quite have the light arrows, but it was towards Almost. the back end of the game, and you Almost. had pretty much the full kit. Like, there was no real reason for yeah. it. Yeah, you already it was had just, It was just a bragging right sort of a You already had the double mask. So that water and jelly, you freeze them and turn into a block, so you can climb up and... You yeah. kill them? You have to wait for him to reform. I like breaking things. Science fiction! Yes. There's no year, apparently. What does the rocket hit when it lands on the moon in the 1902 It's I. Relay? Yep. Yes. Point another point for Thomas. That is... Or two points, I should say. Sorry. That is an old classic. That is, Sci like, I, the I've first that movie. That is the first science fiction. Aside science from film. the Great Train Robbery, I've that's seen the that first film. movie ever. Science fiction rolls. True or false? Arnold Schwarzenegger is the only actor to appear in all three Terminator films. True. Only actor? I don't think that's what it means, Richard. <laughs> to no, be in all three all of the three. films? And then, yeah, he is. Both of you saying true, final answer? Yes. You're both wrong. Okay. Character actor Eel Bowen also appears in all three films as beleaguered fi psychiatrist Dr. Silverman. Oh, look, it's not Michael Bean, so I don't have to care. <laughs> it's true. As long as we both got it wrong. 1994 words. What science fiction Other hero's way. final words were? It was fun. Oh my. Kirk. Yep. Huh. That the James was. James and Kirk in generations. That was when uh, Picard hmm. killed him. Picard didn't kill him. The Basically. bridge fell on him. God, that would be such a better movie. <laughs> well, Picard... which I never saw, well, but they, it would no, automatically. Should, okay, well, look, they shoot a nuclear shoots... missile into the sun. Picard, why are you doing the worst parts? Picard <laughs> shoots the bridge out that the villain is standing on, and when the bridge snaps, Kirk was also standing on it, so he ends up getting trapped underneath it. Okay, did I just reverse the water? I think so. I think that's what they did. Sweet. We'll just assume that's what that did, and, I'm assuming and, it did, and it did, run it did, with it. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't think it did nothing. We'll just assume that's what it did, and we'll run with it. Looks, it seems that way, because it looks like it's yeah, flowing. Yeah, sweet. You came in that direction. Wait, shit, he's right. Oh. Maybe he did something else? 
In that room, maybe? That did, we didn't did pay you, attention to? Did you, did you investigate it's, anything in that room? Well, no. What do I look like? Someone actually good at video games? He was paying games? attention to Kirk's death. Yeah, because it doesn't look like it reversed the direction. Whatever, I'll figure it out. Uh, 1986 Fantasy. What is the poison fruit that Hoggle gives Sarah, played by Jennifer Connelly, to make her forget about her brother in It's Zyber. an apple, I think. Thomas says apple, though he hasn't locked in yet. I lock in. He's locking in on yeah, apple. It's an apple. Richard's locking in on apple. You're both wrong. It's a peach. That's a Damn. handheld fruit. I haven't watched that movie in so long. Thanks, Jared. 19... The only thing I remember really from that movie is dance magic. As, as expected. 1999 science fiction. What do the rebels use to exit the world of the Matrix? A trace for a phone. Payphone. Oh, shit. Yeah. Christian's got it. Now I'm thinking of... I was thinking of the first time. Horrifying roles. What? Oh. Whose daughter was played by Gloria Holden in 1936? That is an existence that man has. Say again, sorry. Whose daughter was played by Gloria Holden in 1936? What did this do? I'll take the hints, please. Oh, no, it did get the, it did get the red pipe flowing. Was it? Okay. It, it, I don't think it reversed the water. Oh, direction. but if you just... go back to the first room, yeah. the red pipe's fitting. Yeah. Okay. Word. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, the, the, the geysers going, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I am taking the hint. Uh, Frankenstein, Dracula, or Dr. Jekyll? Gonna go with Frankenstein. Dr. Jekyll. It was Dracula, you're both wrong. Whatever. As long <laughs> as I wasn't the only Dracula. one that was wrong. Her granddaughter, actress Lori Holden, played Dude. Jim Carrey's leading lady in 2001's The Majestic. I fucking hate water levels. And had a recurring role what? on TV's The X-Files. 1996 music. What singer's voice made the Martian's head explode in Mars Attack? <laughs> oh, God. Who is it? Uh, um, it's a country star. I want a hint. You want some hints? Barbara Streisand, oh. John Tesh, Slim Whitman. Slim Whitman, please. I think it's that, so. That's that's you I see her, so you can get oh, up there. Okay, yeah. John Tesh. He's saying Whitman. You're saying Tesh. It's not Barbara Streisand. Rick Thomas is right. He gets it with Whitman. I'll give you a point, and here's the bonus question, Thomas. What singer appears <laughs> himself <laughs> and closed the film with his hit? It's not unusual. Uh, Tom Jones. Tom Jones is the correct answer. It's a good thing you said the name of the song because I've never seen that movie. Actually? Actually. Oh, it's a pretty yeah, good it's, film. It's okay. It's not the greatest film ever. It's, it's, over, it's, it's a, overhyped. It's a pastiche. Yeah. It's, um, what's it? What am I looking for? What's this the is the second for? question about it. <laughs> about Mars Attacks. Yeah, that was like the third question about Sack I Ask. You need the ice arrows for this guy. Okay. Oh, this guy again. So, yeah, it's the gecko again. Yeah, but yeah, this time he's in case in jello. So yeah, I think you can hit him once normally, and then he'll start doing like his random thing. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I can't break that. Oh, it's like that guy that was in Twilight Princess. You can't approach him. You need to arrow him. Oh sure, why not? There, now he'll do. So just a dodgy. You'll see the shadow. Get it? It's like a tadpole. Oh okay. I oh, didn't wow. realize okay. it expanded like that. And there's like a oh, Street like, Fighter combo. Yeah, he, yeah, he, like he gets a fucking maximum me. spider on you. Fucking karate's me. And then as it comes back up, yeah, you got it. Now what? Oh no, sorry. No, you had to do it when it was oh, rising. Oh, he. I bet he like jumps yeah. out of it or something, and then. So wait for it to come back up. Yeah, there we go. I. Oh, and then it falls. Okay. I'm Neos. Die. Okay. Probably, just a puzzle. Probably one more time. Yeah, it's a puzzle. Box. Can I put regular arrows on my other? Nope. No. That's annoying. Waste of magic. But I, I was gonna say all these jumps have magic. Oh, absolutely. But oh, oh. maximum spider oh, hyper combo. Ultra, ultra, ultra. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question. Uh, two thousand fantasy. So it's about the X Men. On what national monument does the finale of X Men take place? <laughs> it's the Washington Monument. <laughs> yeah, it is. You both the same final answer? Yeah. You no, both... that's a joke because the Washington oh. Monument is a fucking tower. Uh, Jefferson... No, Lincoln. What's the Lincoln? No, Lincoln. It, it is the Washington Monument. Are you Monument. sure it's Washington Monument? You're both saying Washington Monument, final answer? No, he's saying Lincoln. 
No, I'm saying Lincoln. What? I'm the Statue the Jeff- of Abraham. I'm thinking Lincoln. about Jefferson. I am so, okay. I am right now saying Washington yeah, no, Memorial. Yeah. Final answer. I'm fighting myself on this one. Okay, he's in fi- locked in final answer. Yeah, okay. What are you saying? Washington. No, Statue oh! of Liberty. Which I realized. <laughs> which I realized like it was too late. Well, good. I, I distracted I Thomas. Thomas. I did not know how looking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember that exactly yes. right now. You remember why I know that? What's what, what happens, happens when you hit show and get stirred by lightning? Yes. What? Same thing that happens to everything. Fucking else. son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I hate that line. <laughs> Thanks, I love, Halle Berry. Really, I really like that line. I think it's kind of like tongue in cheek. Thanks, Halle Berry. Her name's Hale Berry. Hi, hi, and Betty. <laughs> what I'm I'm one eighth German. I'm Wait, really? It's very fast now. Sure. I'm one eighth German. I can make that. Happen. I'll go for the kill. Are you Skrillex now? Well, I'm thinking the original. I don't think the Skrillex is remix is as good. Uh, nineteen ninety seven. Get out of that refrigerator. Right Watch out. Now. Uh, 1997 science fiction. Where does the alien bug go to find a spacecraft to escape from Earth in Men in Black? Uh, oh, it's the c- county fair. County, uh, fuck. Oh, uh, World's Fair. World's Fair, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, I said county. Whatever. Uh, bonus question. What star of television's Law and Order criminal intent played the alien bug in the human suit? Um, he also it played. Fucks now. <laughs> Edgar. <laughs> It's uh, <laughs> it's the same guy who plays Wilson Fisk in Daredevil. I don't remember. Not the movie, but the Netflix the, show. I assume it was a TV show. I don't know his name. Watch out. Uh, okay, it's Vincent de, de, Norf- de, Norf- de Norfrio. De Norfrio. De Norfrio, thank you. Vincent Italian. That's racist. <laughs> Is it racist to be a tiger? Fuck this stupid frog! Oh, now he turns into a fucking banjo kazooie. Yeah, he's one of the frogs for the dog arrow quest. I don't want to touch any of these. I'm afraid I'll die. Well, maybe there'll be some hearts in the crate. No, it's only a, magic is arrows. Is actually one of the frogs for the dog arrow quest? Yes. Why would I make that up? Thomas, get him. You have to get him. No, you have to. No, we're loop. doing that on a different loop. Cycle, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, you fancy need him. Fantasy rules. What role, made famous by Sarah Michelle Gellar on TV, did Christy Buffy. Swanson... Yep. It could have been another show that she was on. Yeah, but I took that risk. 1980 Words, and you can just jump out the... Thomas, you're gonna die. 1980 yeah. Words... She has a fairy. 1980 Words, what is the only line in the book Jack Nicholson writes in The Shining? Uh... The only line? Yeah. Oh, all work and play makes Jack an old boy. Yeah. I heard lie. So did I. So that's why I. The went only to... lie. I would have. I would have no, I would have gotten the answer if I had heard the right word. I demand points. <laughs> give me the bat. Give me, give, give me the bat. <laughs> okay, so now that we have the um, now that we have the mini boss, the mini boss. <laughs> now that we have the boss key. Uh. Now we can go back and reverse the water level. I'm pretty sure. That was the point of that. <laughs> love it. <laughs> you uh, love to see it. Hate it. Hate, hate, hate. So Thomas currently has nine points. Richard at six. Oh. 1995 <laughs> fantasy. Besides Gotham City, what other fictitious large city did Batman mention in Batman Forever? Metropolis. Yep, got in one. Oh, that's the only other one. Yeah, that's the only mentioned. other one I even know. Uh, West City. Queens, I guess. From. Yeah, nobody cares about West City. That's not a fictional city, though. And then I there's, and then there's the beach city or whatever. Who was the villain Cybok on a quest to find when he took over the Enterprise in Star Trek V, The Final Frontier? Spock? The shittiest one. Maybe. Spock, maybe? Are you, are you locking in? No. What if you Richard doesn't get it, I'll take Me. the hint. That... The Final Frontier. The shittiest one. I don't remember that. Is that is that the one that was played by Christopher Lloyd? It's the shittiest one. No, he plays a Klingon, not a. Oh, sorry. I don't remember his name. I don't actually. remember. I don't remember. You want the hints, then? Yeah. His long lost wife, a Klingon prophet, or God? We'll God. go for God. God's the answer. Richard got it first. Even only because God. I said we'll go for. Nineteen ninety one fantasy roles. So 
here, Thomas, what you can do is when you're on the once you're on the platform in the in the level you want, you hit the, it with the ice arrow and freeze it so it stops flowing. The oh, the water. Yeah, that yeah. way you can hop across. Uh, 1991 business. Oh, I skipped this question. Sorry. 1991 fantasy rules. What British singer songwriter? I know this. What British singer songwriter had a cameo as the policeman called to investigate the kidnapping of Peter's son and daughter in Hook? I never fucking saw Hook. Uh, we're gonna film. go. We're gonna go with uh, Sting from the Police because that's a funny answer. <laughs> okay, Richard. Is it, is it Tom Petty again? <laughs> I don't think Tom Petty's British. Oh, British. Uh, I did say British. Yes. Roger Waters. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't a final answer. I want the hints. You want the hints. Okay. Peter Gabriel, Paul McCartney, Phil Collins. <gasps> Peter Gabriel, Peter please. Gabriel. No, Phil Collins. You're going Phil Collins? Yeah, final answer? Not? Thomas, what are you locking in for? It's Pete. Phil Collins. Though. Yeah! <laughs> I knew that. That's, that's a great camera. Remember, that's actually the very first time I ever saw Phil Collins. It was in the hook. Was in hook. So. How do I get over there? Uh, we're still, we haven't triggered whatever switch gets that going. I but think. that was what that fucking switch I hit in that other room was supposed to. Oh, God damn it. No, I, gotta go I don't side. think so. I you do. Have, you have to follow the path of the pipe. It probably, it probably triggered a switch in the first room Richard was in. Sure. And then there was sure. a second switch there. Or something. Garbage game. <sighs> Why do you give me the control room? Cause y'all gotta, gotta read the question. <laughs> 1995 fantasy. Besides Gotham City, what other fi- Oh, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was trying to say, this sounds familiar. Wait a minute. What were audiences asked to wear while viewing the final ten minutes of Fred is Dead, The Final Nightmare? Uh, 3D glasses. Shh. Yeah. What? That's so dumb. That's weird. Just for the last ten minutes? Yes, because name that's the, when they did more effects. Name the rock singer... Who makes a cameo in Freddy's Dead and played himself in Wayne's World? Fine. Played himself in Wayne's World? Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper's the answer. It's a tied game. I didn't know that he was in uh, Wayne's, or Freddy, Freddy's Dead. I don't remember that at all. Uh, 2001 Fantasy. What were the cats led by Mr. Tinkles out to destroy in Cats and Dogs? Dogs. <laughs> I don't remember this movie. Yeah, no one remembers this movie. <laughs> the guy who made it doesn't remember this freaking movie. <laughs> there was a sequel. It was. I never saw it. Though. Cats and Dogs 2. The cat name. The dog name. Okay, so I activated the thing. Give me a hint. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure, Thomas. I'm sorry, I'm not 100% it's fine. sure. Don't look it up. Uh, I, don't, I don't really want to look it up. I don't want to look it up for my own. Fine. And then I'll, I'll reserve that information if for myself. Like, I just followed the pipes. It leads back to the first room, okay, so, so I don't understand. Okay, so maybe we're just missing something. Maybe you have to get up onto that platform, freeze I'm it. Go this. Oh, you can freeze this. I was going to say, I'm going to go this way because Richard never did it. Yeah, so. I mean, he couldn't have, uh, but he never yeah, even yeah, tried yeah, to. Yeah. A, yeah. So first, maybe, oh, maybe there's another it. switch back there. You're, you're probably fine. Uh, what were the cats led by Mr. Oh, sorry, I said that already. So you want to Vax a vaccine, a yarn stockpile, or a mouse habitat? Go on with the vaccine, it's please. Probably gonna be the vaccine. Vaccine is the correct answer. To point for Thomas. A vaccine that would end humans, beans, allergies to dog hair. Oh, I remember. Mr. This Tinkles now. was voiced by Sean Hayes, who played. I the do. Uh, I actually Jack saw this movie in the theaters. Yes, yeah, so did I. 1994 science fiction. One original Star Trekker teamed up with Captain Picard, played by Patrick Stewart, to save the galaxy in Star Trek Generations. Was, we literally just had this question. Yeah. Science fiction fantasy filmography. Who fought alongside Willow? Defended Gotham as Batman Forever and got stuck on Red Planet. So who uh, Val Batman? Kilmer. Val Kilmer's the answer. Bonus question though. Okay. In which of these three films did he co-star with his wife? I want these bonus ones because I can't get any fucking points because it just. No, Nathaniel still gives you oh, the is he points. Doing yes. Oh, yes. Nice. Even though I've asked him to stop. 
Yeah. Well, we did it for you originally, uh, so we're just sticking into it. It's not Batman. No. In which of the movies? Yeah, which of the movies? It's not Batman. What were the movies I would listen? Willow. Willow, Batman, Batman. Forever, and Red Planet. I'm going to say Red Planet. Where's Willow? Okay. 1974 I've words. seen Willow one time. In what horror comedy did we hear, pardon me, boy, is this the Transylvania station? Yeah, yeah, track 29. Can it give you a shine? Uh, 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 fuck. Fr Victor Frankenstein. Yeah, I know, it's that one. It's fucking... It's pronounced Frankenstein! It's, uh... What the fuck am I doing in here? I don't know here? what you're doing. Young Neither do I! Young Frankenstein! It's Young Frankenstein, yeah. Oh, I thought the Frankenstein thing... Oh, never mind. Don't worry about it. Huh? So you have you're to ice, ice arrow over to the switch. Too busy focusing on this stupid game. Young Frankenstein. <sighs> it's you ice arrow over It's just switch. water level, man. I hate water level. It's not It's not that bad. I'm gonna fight the boss. You can close now. your eyes. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a fear thing. I just hate water levels. They suck. It's not that bad. Aesthetically, it's the do, coolest do, level. Do, 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 do. Aesthetically, it's the coolest level in the games. Um, no water level's fun to play. I'll give you that. It's not the most fun thing in the world, but they, they did their best. So, aesthetically, it's very cool, but it's not fun. Yeah, Richard got that. Yeah, I think I gave you the point already. Okay, 2003 Fantasy. What happened to the cursed pirates when they were touched by moonlight? And they turned into skeletons. skeletons. Yeah, Thomas started that first. I'll give him the points. Here's the bonus question. What animal Don't that perched no. on cursed pirate Captain Barbosa's shoulder also became a monkey? Skeleton. It was a monkey. Monkey Thomas takes the point. I think it was specifically a capuchin. It's a, the game is tied once again. I'm gonna run out of magic. Maybe you should. There's some the, in the pots uh, downstairs. I was just saying, yeah, I was just saying the barrels on that side also probably. We have to use magic in order to get there. No, 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 but the pot's underwater he's talking about. Underwater? I didn't see any underwater. They're there. You ran out of time. <laughs> it's only the second day. We're laughing. Yeah! Yay. Uh, did I do that? Yeah, so you guys got it. 1999 Science Fiction. What parody of Star Trek saw the washed up cast of a cheesy cancelled TV series? This is the easiest question ever. TV sci-fi series, Quest. Quest. It had uh, on my, it. One of my absolute favorite films of all time. Top ten for sure. Christopher Lloyd is in that one too, I think. No, he's not. That's uh, Tim Allen, Sigourney Weaver. Oh, and... no, it's Monk. Yeah. How did you <laughs> confuse Monk with Galaxy Quest? Because he had the thing on his face. There's one more thing Lord in this did. room. I don't. You might maybe saw it already. You have to get over oh, to the. Kill him, huh? You have to get over to the yellow platform, and then yeah, make a platform as a I'm hole sure. that you have to hook shot up to. That's how you get up to the grading up in the ceiling. Okay. Uh, 2002 fantasy directors. What direct? I'm assuming that means the director directed a fantasy as opposed to he's fictional. <laughs> <laughs> what director makes a it cameo? Could be Ed Wood. <laughs> <laughs> what director makes a cameo appearance in the Helm's Deep battle in the Lord of the Rings: The Two Towers? Peter Jackson. Peter Jackson. Yeah. Richard started first. I'll give him the points. 1984 words. The Terminator was the first movie in which Arnold Schwarzenegger said what catchphrase? I'll be back. That's correct. Wow, this is a tense game. I wasn't sure if it was actually in the second one. <laughs> uh, no, the second game's Austin. The second one's Austin. Austin Vista. Vista. That's right. That's where my thought was. But why would he uh, say it in the first one? Give, or it could have been, give me your clothes, your boots, your motorcycle. <laughs> nice night for a walk, huh? <laughs> yeah, no, the catchphrase is, fuck you, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it's you, a good asshole. <laughs> it's my catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> what was the nickname of the hungry green ghost who bugged in the uh, That's a tough call. Got first on that. It was Richard. So, yeah, so from the yellow platform, you yeah, ice arrow. Uh, yeah, slime. Right, anyways, uh, okay. Oop, oop. Could have uh, been a different Hunger Games. <laughs> 1991 science fiction. What was the name of the liquid metal shape changing android? T2. T2. What'd you say? T1000. Yes, I said T2 because I'm an idiot. Huh? 
Uh, I, I think she said Tim. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> Good old Tim. <laughs> oh no, Tim's coming. Shink. <laughs> Tim, Tim's walking in. No, so not from there. Turn around. No, keep going. See? Yes, I see it. Okay, that hole over there, yeah. So basically where the Octorok is standing. Oh, I have that. Okay. That's also not an Octorok, it's a Tektite. Whatever. The Octopus. Idiot! It's not an Octopus, Sorry. it's basically a water skimmer. Oh, no! You can climb on the ice platform. Can you? Yeah. He wasn't able to Hang before. On. He wasn't? I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah. Oh yeah, you oh can. Look at that. Jump on the... Should've probably killed the Tektite my... first. I, well, I tried to. Apparently ice arrows don't kill it. Everything just stuns this dumb motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Science fiction rules. Whose best friend did Harry Henry Thomas play as Elliot in a 1982 e. science fiction blockbuster? Oh, who played the kid? Oh, you got it. Okay. There's only one was the film. I've real or e. phony? Is this a real horror film? Yeah, it's real. Final answer. <laughs> I like the kid versus Dracula. That one has to be real. Yeah, Thomas is right, he got it first. Because he did it before the answer. Ugh. A 1966 movie in which old Drac moves out west to find some fresh blood, the legendary cowboy William Billy the Kid Bonnie stands in his way. Horror star John Carradine, who plays Dracula, considered it the worst movie he ever made. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That sounds like something you'd make up for, like, Balderdash. Anyways. I feel like I'd make up, like, a... Uh, Look, all I'm, sa all I'm saying is none of them have been fake yet. It's true. Oh, mm -hmm. Does, oh you can just roll that. Yeah, uh, yeah, you should be able to hook shot from here. No, I'm doing it from here. Because okay. I'm afraid my platform is going to go away. I don't know okay. the time on them. That was a good call. Ooh, slightly off. Fuck. I'm screwed. Climb faster, you idiot! Wrong, wrong weapon. <laughs> no, it's the right weapon. I just hit the wall like a jag. Two thousand fantasy. Who lived on top of Mount Crumpet? The Grinch. Yep. I don't know. Fucking the licorice bandit from Candyland. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't know, Thomas. This is salty <coughs> because of the game. <laughs> is it really called Mount Crumpet? Where the <laughs> fuck in that movie? On top of Mount Crumpet, there stood a strumpet, oh, yeah. eating her curds away. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the book. Uh, I don't know if it's in the movie or not. 1977 science fiction. Yes, it was what part movie. of his dinner did Roy Neary, played by Richard Dreyfus, start sculpting a mountain with? Mashed posting... potatoes. Yeah, you know how it's... I know that? Because he doesn't Because of UHF. Because of UHF. This means something. Yeah. This is important. important. Yes. All, all pop culture I know from Weird Al. That's just it's how true. it is. And they did it in The Simpsons. Wow, really? It's Good the only job, reason Monk. I know about the talking heads or pre President of the United States. Fucking America. really? Yeah. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. But you wrote the talking heads? It's pronounced Pusa. Alright, <laughs> uh, yeah. I think it's just a straight fairy. He's gold. He's gold. He's gold. Now why couldn't I go through this one? He's in my head. Was there... No, because he would have <laughs> dropped back straight down. The other one was angled, so you landed on the grate. Watch, try it. No, it you're work. right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, anyway, so... You got mashed potatoes. Thomas got that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Boom, boom. I don't think the current's changed. And we haven't changed the current yet. Yeah. Uh, just turned on the, I turned on the yellow pipe. Yeah. Oh. Richard Richard's at 25 points, Tom is at 21. Fantasy roles. What character's two best friends have Rupert Grint and Emma Watson played in three films so Harry far? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter is right. I mean, I knew that was the right answer, but I thought it was some kind of trick question because it was uh, so easy. Here's the bonus <laughs> question. Which one is an expert at wizard's chess? Uh, Hermione. No, it's, it's, uh, it's Ron. It's Ron. Thomas gets the is bonus it? question. Oh, right, Hermione's parents are dentists. What does that have to do with chess? 
dentists hate chess. You know Everyone what? knows that this. never comes up again in any of the books ever. No, that, that he still wait that he that, still plays chess. It never comes back up again. So I completely forgot. That was it's the whole funny. thing. Is like Ron can only do one thing. It's funny that you say that. It's a really easy question because I don't know anything about Harry Potter. I would not have gone. I know it was a really. It was so obvious well, that I thought it went. was a trick question. Oh, okay, I don't know anything about Harry Potter. I would not have gotten that. So he's a wizard. I saw the first film because it watched it in school. That's the only reason I didn't see that. Yeah, they're fine. They're not really actually that great. Also, people who think Harry Potter is a personality trait are wrong. Thanks, Olivia. <laughs> okay, so let me think about this room for a second. Um, I know you have to freeze something. I push this. That turns the yellow pipe it turns on. It turns it off, the, right? No, it turns that other yellow pipe on over there. Okay. I think. Oh, geez. Maybe this no, is the one I was struggling it. with before, remember? It no, it shuts it off. Yes, but look. This yellow pipe goes down through... Oh, it's over there, but there's no... We already switched that one. That was the one that activated that geyser over there. Okay, so then this this yellow pipe is... Wait. What are those sculptures? What did I do then? I That's that, what I was confused about other when I first fucking started room, this. I turned that yellow pipe on. We still need to activate that one. Because I, that's that's the next thing we have to do. Because then we hook shot on to it. I turn that yellow pipe on, and it leads me all the way back here, and then some dumb bullshit. Yeah. So the, yeah, we still have that's to activate. Where I was upset. We still haven't activated the red geyser that we need uh, to get across the We've second half of the rooms. rooms. Have we? Check the map. Hang on, I'm busy. Okay. Check the map after. 